Okay, so welcome to our talk today on ways that you can improve your sleep naturally. I'm just going to, oh, people are coming in now. I'm just going to start sharing my screen and I'm going to take you through a presentation and then we can have a chat at the end as well if there's something that's come up for you that you want to explore a bit further. If you have just come into the room, if you could mute yourself, that's amazing, thank you. Okay, so exploring sleep naturally and my passion is teaching about essential oils. So there was obviously going to be some essential oils within this talk. So today we're going to explore we're going to explore the key principles of how we sleep, identify some top tips for improving your sleep, and I'm going to bring in some natural solutions as well and how they can help you to improve your sleep. And if there's any of you that haven't started your doTERRA journey yet, then I will at the end just take a couple of minutes of your time just to explain how that works, if it's something that you feel inspired to do. So first of all, we've got five stages of sleep that we go through every single night. Stage one is the first stage when your head hits that pillow and it's the stage of non-REM sleep. So it usually only lasts a few minutes actually. And during this stage, your heartbeat and your breathing start to slow down, your muscles begin to relax and you produce alpha and theta brainwaves. So you're relaxing off into a sleep. Stage two, the next stage of non-REM sleep is when you go into that light sleep before you enter a deep sleep. And in most people that lasts about 25 minutes of this cycle. So during this stage, your heartbeat and breathing are slowing down a bit further. You're going deeper into that sleep. There's no eye movements going on. You might find your body temperature drops. And this is where we have something they called sleep spindles, which are fluctuations in the brain energy. And studies have shown that the more sleep spindles we actually have throughout the period of our sleep that, that evening, the more refreshed you're gonna feel the next day. So what's important to bear in mind as I go through these stages is it's really important that you can have all the stages of sleep lots of times throughout the night because that's how you wake up feeling refreshed. So stages three and four, we, we lump together. So this is the non-REM sleep and is actually the deepest stage of your sleep. So they're known as slow wave or delta sleep and your body's now starting to do the healing process that's so important. So during these stages, it's hard to wake you up from your sleep. Your heartbeat and your breathing are at their very slowest. There's no eye movements. Your body is fully relaxed. You've got delta brain waves, and this is where their body is starting to heal. So tissue repair, growth, cell regeneration, and obviously that will have an, a, a big impact on your immune system as well. And then the fifth stage is your REM sleep. So this is your rapid eye movement stage. It occurs approximately 90 minutes after you fall asleep. If you've gone through those different stages, like we've said, if you haven't woken up in the middle, otherwise you'd be starting back again. Um, this is known as your dream stage. So REM sleep lasts roughly 10 minutes the first time round. And then each time you go th through another round of stages, it will get longer and longer. And the final stage of REM sleep usually lasts for about 60 minutes. So during this stage, we, that's where we see the rapid eye movement and the breathing and the heart rate increases. You may become temporarily paralyzed. So some of you may have woken up from this uh, stage and you feel like you can't move. That's all that's happening temporarily. Um, but also you might see twitches occurring. Brain activity is markedly increased during this phase of sleep. So when you fall asleep at night, you cycle through every one of these stages multiple times, and it's roughly every 90 minutes or so. Something else that's really important in our sleep knowledge is knowing about the circadian rhythm. So you might have heard of it as the body clock. And this is the circadian rhythm is actually a cycle that tells our bodies when to sleep, when to rise, when to eat, these are our physical, mental and behavioural changes that follow a 24 hour cycle. So it's your internal body clock and it's affected by environmental cues like sunlight and temperature. 
this is why this is where when when we become aware of this more is when we travel to, into another time zone and that's when your circadian rhythm gets really out of whack so if um if you're journeying say from hit from the uk to australia you're going through quite a few different time zones so when you arrive you can feel really spaced out for a few days and that's because your circadian rhythm has just gone completely out of whack and there's ways that you can actually help the body to adjust and i'm going to talk a little bit more about those when we get to one of the products i'm going to talk about because i used this on a trip to australia and it was really effective so something else i wanted to mention to do with sleep is a, a chemical in your body, a hormone called adenosine. Now this exists naturally in all of our cells and it's what signals to us that we're tired and causes us to actually be able to fall asleep. And this is called sleep pressure or just feeling tired. So what was interesting to, to learn was that actually adenosine rises in our bodies throughout the day, making us feel more and more tired as the day goes on. So that's why sometimes in the afternoons you might be feeling very tired. Maybe you're, you've got high levels of adenosine. But actually when you fall asleep, it depletes the layers or the levels of adenosine so that you wake up again in the morning. So it's quite clever what's going on in the body. Something else in big in our sleep um, knowledge is a hormone called melatonin. Now, some people seem, think that melatonin helps you to sleep, but it's actually the hormone that controls your sleep patterns and maintains your circadian rhythm. So it's important that we do have enough melatonin in our bodies so that we can have a balanced sleep pattern. And some natural ways that you can support that is looking at what you eat. So the, the mineral that feeds melatonin is magnesium. So you could, to help to balance this out in yourself, you could consume more magnesium. And it's foods like almonds, avocados, shrimp, spinach. Magnesium also relaxes your muscles and keeps cortisol, the stress hormone, levels in check. And stress is another reason why some people find it hard to sleep. And it's also, magnesium is also great for regulating your blood pressure. Another way you can do is get outside it only takes a few minutes in the sun for you to start seeing the benefits. Actually, when you wake up, if you go and have a little look outside, exposing your eyes to bright light when you wake up can help you to produce more melatonin later that day when you need it the most. So definitely getting outside, even if it's just for 10 minutes a couple of times a day, that's going to really help. And then some things that you can eat after dinner are fruits like pineapples, oranges, and bananas. These are a natural source of melatonin and you'll be building up the melatonin within two hours of eating them. And then another thing to bear in mind is it is all in the genetics. So the circadian rhythms do vary from person to person, depending on when they naturally wake up and have maximum energy. So the idea of morning people and night owls is real, which I was quite glad to find out because I'm a bit of a night owl. So you'll often maybe see a, a, an email or a post from me at midnight. And that's just because at my, my natural rhythm is, is kicks in to take me through the night Whereas somebody else who's a bit of a morning person would be asleep by nine o'clock and, and could think of nothing worse than sending an email at midnight. Now, so I was quite glad when I heard that this is actually a genetic. And the reason why, why would humans evolve with this variation? It makes sense, actually, if you think about it, having a mixture of morning people and night owls would have, back in the day, allowed a population to reduce its vulnerability in a night time to a shorter period of time. So back in the day when we had people staying up, keeping watch during the evening or the night hours, we needed that combination of, of strengths. The problem we've got now in the modern day is that us night owls suffer because work times really are 8 a.m. in the morning or 9 a.m. And we're, we're not naturally at our best during that time. So night owls peak in the afternoon and the workday is already nearly ended. So we're a bit out of sync. So it, it, although it's all in the genetics, we do need to look at ways that we can actually shift that back a few hours. So some ways that you can strengthen your circadian rhythm. First of all, having a protein rich breakfast. 
So protein gives us the strength and energy to get on with our day. So suggestions would be things like Greek yogurt, eggs, milk, quinoa, peanut butter, smoked salmon on whole wheat bread. That would be a very protein rich breakfast. Get some sun. So we're getting back to going outside again. Vitamin D from the sun is vitally important for your physical and mental health. And then if you can get some exercise in as well. Walking's great, but if you can actually raise your body temperature by doing some cardio, this can help you sleep better at night. Lower your stress levels. And the best way I know to lower my stress levels is essential oils and meditation. No Wi-Fi before bed. So if you do suffer with sleeping and you're actually finding yourself at midnight on your phone, scrolling through Facebook, then what that is stimulating the wake up chemicals in the brain. It's not bringing in the adenosine that we want to help us to go to sleep. It's the light from the screen. Now you can buy the, the blue light blocking glasses, which I do have some somewhere. I um, keep forgetting to put them on. That's one way, but actually just taking away the stimulus from of the Wi-Fi from your bedroom is probably one of the best things you can do. Maybe get a book instead. And then always have regular bedtimes and wake up times. So even though it might not feel natural for you to go to bed at, say you're a night owl, if you said, right, 11 o'clock, I'm going to be asleep and then I'm going to wake up, I'm going to get up at six o'clock. And you start to retrain yourself by going to bed and getting up the same time every night. And that's uh, every morning. That's how you'll start to strengthen your circadian rhythm. So actually, even if, say, on a Sunday, you've actually got nothing to do and you might fancy a lie in by having those extra couple of hours in bed, you're actually weakening your circadian rhythm for the next week. And then be comfortable. Keep your bedroom cool. I actually hate having radiators in the bedroom. I um, I'd much rather be cold than too hot and clutter free. So it's a nice space that you can go into and you feel relaxed when you get in there. And then if you can get some blinds that black out all of the light so that you're sleeping in total darkness. Now, one of the natural products that I think is very beneficial on lots of levels, but especially for sleep, because we wanna get our bodies back into balance. And it's a product that I use called Lifelong Vitality. Don't know if any of you have tried this yet. It's, it's quite an amazing supplement system. And I've, I've actually looked at what's in each bottle. So you can see a picture there at the bottom, you've got Alpha CRS, um, got Z, like X Omegas and Microplex VMZ. So when I looked at the Alpha CRS, this is one that's great for cellular energy and natural cleansing. So it's full of antioxidants that support the body. And if you look at the big list there of what's in it, what's different about this supplements to ones that I've looked at in the past are that these are totally natural, whole food, plant-based. There's nothing synthetic in there at all. So you're getting your daily supply of, and you've got, you can see the list, boswellia extract, can't say the second word, milk thistle, which we know is good for our liver, resveratrol, green leaf teeth extract, green tea leaf extract, pomegranate fruit, pineapple stem. So we've already said about pineapple, turmeric, grape seed extract, sesame seed extract. You take a couple of those along with two of the Microplex VMZ, which is your vitamin and minerals. So then you know you're getting the daily required amount of A, C, D, E, K, B6 and B12. Plus, you've got the folate in there. This makes a really good um, post prenatal vitamin. I iodine. I was speaking to someone about iodine yesterday. That's interesting. So that's in there as well. That is really good for your sleep. Magnesium, selenium. So it's all in there. But in and the, the other thing I loved about this when I looked into it was, but it, they're designed to work synergistically together. So I might absorb more of this because I've got some vitamin B12 in there, for example. So it's really looked at scientifically as to how these work. The third thing in there is your microplex. No, we've done microplex, haven't we? It's your omegas. So this is your omegas three, six, and nine. These are your essential fatty acids and they're called essential because the body doesn't produce them naturally. So we have to get them from somewhere else. Also, you can see in there, we've got the essential oils as well. 
sort of clove, frankincense, thyme, cumin seed, wild orange, peppermint, ginger, and there's a tummy tamer blend in there as well, which is your ginger caraway and German chamomile. So this I think is your foundation. This is getting the body nutritionally where it needs to be. And then we can start looking at, looking at the symptoms with the essential oils. So why essential oils? We've got oils that are calming for the evening, uplifting for the daytime. We, so we can really help to support those healthy habits during the day. One of the things we need to look at with sleep is your stress levels and oils, essential oils are amazing for reducing your stress levels. And some of them are sedative, so you can use them again in the evening to help increase that sleepy feeling. So a lot of you on here already know and already use essential oils. I'm preaching to the converted, but just to remind you, probably the, the most important thing I can tell you about an essential oil is that it is the immune system of a plant. A part of what it does, it does some other things as well, but the, a big part of what it does is protect the plant from viruses, bacteria, fungi, that kind of thing. And because we're carbon based, just like a plant, our body recognizes it and knows what to do with it. So when you've got a pure essential oil, then you've got a very for powerful form of plant-based medicine. I'll run through this with you. Three cool things about the oils. One, they're safe. They're 100% safe and natural without side effects or addictive qualities. A lot of what we can take for sleep is very addictive. And you're on this cycle then of not being able to sleep without the addictive medicine that I'm taking. What I do love about these is they get the body back into balance. And then when you're in balance, you don't need that oil anymore. I'm going to talk about an, a product I used um, and how I noticed that. So they're extracts from plants, as we've said. The ones I'm talking about are the doTERRA essential oils, just because of the purity and the quality of them. They're the most tested, most trusted oils we can buy. No other oil goes through the amount of tests that, that the doTERRA ones do. So we know we're getting a pure high enough grade essential oil to work with otherwise you try the oils and you think actually they don't work and it's not that the oils don't work it's just that you haven't got one that's a high enough grade these are powerful they're 50 to 70 times more powerful than the herbs that we get them from so we don't need an awful lot a couple of drops each application is all we need so what we're going to talk about peppermint in relation to sleep one of the reasons i would use peppermint is if you haven't if you haven't had those those five cycles of sleep or you've been disrupted in between you haven't had the full five you can actually the next day feel quite tired and peppermint is the one of the best oils i know to energize so if you wake up in the morning feeling groggy then a drop of peppermint on the palm of your hand rub your hands together get all those molecules moving around and then breathe it in and you only need to do it for about four or five times You'll feel it clearing the head, clearing the brain fog, energizing you ready for the day ahead. Same in the afternoon. If you feel you've got that afternoon slump coming and you haven't got the time for a quick nap, then peppermint again, breathing it in and you'll get that second boost of energy. And you don't just have to do it twice a day. You can do it throughout the day when you start to feel yourself having that slump. You could put a drop in some water and drink it that way. It's amazing for your digestion as well. Um, or you could mix it with a carrier oil and rub it on topically. It's a really good oil for head tension just across here and around the back of the head. Now, I'm not sure who's in the room, so I don't know if I'm repeating myself here, but the second thing I like to teach about essential oils is just how effective they are. And we're not really talking about sleep as much here now. We're talking about your immune system. Now, I've been reading a lot at the moment lately about gene theory versus terrain theory, which is quite interesting. If you haven't looked into it, I recommend you do because it's got an interesting theory on viruses. So we know with a bacteria, it gets into the bloodstream and it tends to float around in the bloodstream around the side of a cell or it might even attach to the outside of a cell. And we've got medicines like antibiotics that we know can kill bacteria. But the problem is we've overused these and the bacteria has become resistant to them. So we're now having to use stronger and stronger antibiotics to kill the same bacteria. And it's actually having a very detrimental effect on the rest of our body and our immune system. So they're not ideal antibiotics to be using, especially long term. It can take months to get the body back into balance after a round of antibiotics. 
And if you do take antibiotics, please take a good probiotic as well. Now with the virus, this is where gene theory and terrain theory comes in. Um, originally the word virus was used to disc which meant toxic or poison. And then somehow, I think it was Louis Pasteur, some, he decided that a virus was actually an organism, a bit like we knew about bacteria. But the problem is they've never actually been able to isolate a virus. So we've never actually been able to take one out of the cell and say, this is such and such a virus, which is interesting. I didn't know this. Another theory is the terrain theory is that actually the cell has become toxic for some reason. We've got damaged DNA and the cells become toxic. And the word virus describes the toxicity of the cell. So whichever way school of thought resonates with you, what they do agree on is that the virus or the toxic cell is inside the center of a cell. And the medications that we've got are water soluble, which means they can't cross through the fatty layer of the cell. So they can't get to where the problem is. But essential oils can, are lipid soluble, which means they can cross easily through and they bring the benefits directly to where we need them. So we don't need to know if it's a virus or a bacteria. It's the same essential oils and they'll find the problem and they'll help the body to bring it back into balance. So On Guard is our go-to for immune health and it's wild orange, clove, cinnamon, eucalyptus and rosemary. Smells like Christmas to me. Um, it's a lovely essential oil. I have it diffusing. If anyone in the house is unwell, then we'll have this diffusing so that everyone else doesn't catch it. But also topically on the body, I use it in my hand sanitizing. Uh, I use it in my cleaning. It's a really good, lovely blend of oils. And then just as to get rid of that myth about them being too expensive. But actually, these oils are so potent that we only need a couple of drops. So they work out pennies per dose, which can, will save you a lot of money a year on medications. And lavender is one of our top ones for helping people to sleep because it's got a sedative effect quality to it. Now we can use it during the daytime to help to get rid of stress. If you're feeling angry or upset or emotional, then lavender is a very good one to, to use. But I like to use it in more in the evening to help to calm down ready for sleep. You could put a drop in some water. Try it if, if you've tried lavender topically and it's not quite doing it for you and you are struggling to sleep, as long as you've got one of the... Um, brands of oils that are certified as safe for consumption, which doTERRA is one of, you could put a drop of lavender in some water and drink it and just see if for you that's a bit more of a powerful way of using it. But also rubbing it on the bottom of the feet with a bit of carrier oil and then putting it some up your arm so you're smelling it and then settle down for sleep. Tell yourself I'm going to sleep tonight and I'm going to have eight hours sleep. So you're changing your mindset around what's happening. All of this will help. I'm not saying all of this will be an instant cure, but these are little steps that you can start to do. So just to go through the ways we can use these oils, aromatically, that could be in a diffuser. So having it diffusing in your bedroom, put it on about an hour before you want to go to bed. So when you enter that bedroom, you've got that lovely smell. You've already decluttered it because we've, we've read a bit about having a nice space. So when you walk into that space, you're ready for sleep. Another way aromatically is putting it on the skin and breathing it in or putting it on the hands and breathing it in. Now for a, um, mood support, aromatic use is the quickest way to affect a change within the body because when you breathe it in, within seconds, it gets taken into the limbic part of your brain, which sends a message from the pineal gland flooding your body or the hypothalamus, sorry, flooding your body with the hormones that you need. So that's the quickest way to actually affect your mood. So if stress is one of the things that you wanted to work on, then getting some essential oils and using them aromatically through the day will really start to see a, a change. Topical is when we put it on the body. And if you're using the oils topically, I'd always recommend that you mix it with a carrier oil. And a carrier oil is any vegetable based oil that carries the essential oil onto the skin. And it will, because the molecules are bigger than the essential oil, it will hold the essential oil in place. So the effects will last longer and you won't develop a sensitivity to the oils, which you can do if you use them neat over a long period of time. 
And then the third way is internally. We spoke about putting a drop of lavender in your water. Um, I'm only really advocating internal use with the doTERRA oils because I know that they've been tested and that they're safe to do so. So if you have got a different brand and you read on the bottle, do not use internally, then please don't because there's it, a high chance that there's something else in that bottle that's just making it unsafe to do so. So uh, you can put it in a glass of water and I mentioned glass because you don't want to put it in a plastic bottle because our essential oils can draw the toxins out of plastic, which we don't want. Um, if you don't like the taste, but you really want to try it internally, then use it a veggie cap, which is an empty capsule. You put your drop in, put it back together and take it. Or you could put it straight under your tongue, which gets the oils into the bloodstream very, very quickly. And lemon is on my list for sleep. Now you might think, well, lemon's the oil of focus. That's going to wake me up. And that's exactly why I'm bringing it in. Because as well as the peppermint, lemon will just help to keep you energized throughout the day. And it's also got its own health giving properties. It's amazing for your digestion, very cleansing for your liver, and it helps with your respiratory function. So this is a nice one to use throughout the day just to keep you alert and focused and uplifted. Also, you could start using it in your cleaning. We're talking here about bringing the body back into balance. And the biggest, one of the biggest places you're exposed to chemicals is cleaning. So if you haven't jumped on this yet, Castile soap is a natural oil-based soap that you can buy as a liquid, pour some into a glass spray bottle and then add your essential oils. And lemon is a really lovely one to clean with because it gets up greasy marks really, really quickly. So going back to the beginning, if you're still with me, where I was talking about my trip to Australia. And one of the things I wanted to do was to work on my circadian rhythm on the flight. So that when I arrived in Australia, I didn't have the bad effects that I'd had a few years previously. I was out of it for days. So what I did was as soon as I got on the plane, I set my watch to Australia time. And I decided that I wanted to sleep at Australia sleep time. And I wanted to eat and wake up at Australia wake up time. So straight away, I was on Australia time mentally. And the way I managed that was with this um, product there you can see in the middle of the screen serenity soft gels now these have been put together they've got lavender which we know is good for sleep helping to sleep but also it's got l-theanine lemon balm passion flower and german chamomile and when i researched all of those individually i saw that for centuries they'd been used in sleep aids natural sleep aids so deterra's put them all together into a soft gel what I found, I took two and I settled down and I dropped off. And then I woke up and I felt so good. I thought I'd had 10 hours sleep. But when I looked at my watch, I only actually had two hours sleep. So I, what I realized was that these help you to get into that deep level of sleep where the heat, the body starts to regenerate and heal. So we went through the stages at the beginning. Um, when I arrived in Australia, I had no jet lag. Straight away, I was off and I was, I was going. So that was my introduction to these soft gels. When I come back over the time, I've got a bit hormonal, uh, menopausal, and it has affected my sleep. So that's another thing where I started to use the Serenity soft gels. And what I found was, because I was quite wakeful in the night, getting up, needing the loo, that cut that out completely. So it gets you into that deep level of sleep um, where, which is and getting you through all those different cycles. So I can really recommend these. So if that's something you haven't tried yet, then definitely get yourself some of these soft gels. Now there's an oil blend called Serenity as well, which is a really powerful sleep blend. If you look at the oils that are in there, you've got lavender, cedarwood, hoewood, ylang ylang, marjoram, chamomile, vetiver. These are all amazing sleep oils individually and doTERRA's put it together into a blend for us now you can't take the blend internally um, there'll be I have to have a look see which why but the the, the um, it's not recommended for internal use so this is topical or in the diffuser so two of the serenity soft gels about half an hour before you want to sleep and have the serenity oil going in the diffuser there we go Promotes tranquil relaxation, helps a restful, relaxing environment before bedtime. Oils known for their ability to calm the emotions and, um, and also the sedative effects of the oils. 
Another one that's good high up on the sleep oils is copaiba or copaiba, depending on how you pronounce it. This is you could do a whole hour's talk on just on this oil alone. It works in so many different ways on the body, on so many different systems in the body. But for what we're talking about today, we're talking about its effect on our nervous system. So it really helps to settle the body down ready for sleep. This is one that you can take internally. So if it's not one you've tried and you've got some, pop some under your tongue tonight at bedtime and see how that affects the quality of your sleep. You can also use it aromatically in the diffuser or and topically. It's really good as well for aches and pains. So if you've got any painful joints or muscle pain, then Kapiba is a good one to try. Another one I like, we look, this is more coming from the emotional. So if you're stressed and it's affecting the quality of your sleep, is the blend adaptive? So it was put together by doTERRA to help us to adapt to difficult situations. So you can sort of get an idea of what it could be good for. It's got lavender, magnolia, neroli and sweet gum, which are all amazingly calming. Then it's got your wild orange and spearmint, which is uplifting and energizing. And you've got your copaiba and your rosemary. So a lot of those sleep oils we've talked about are coming into this blend. Air is another one. It's called Breathe in some countries, Air in Europe. And this one is good. I put it into the sleep talk because it actually helps you have a better quality of sleep because it opens up the respiratory system. So your breathing is a lot better. It's got laurel, peppermint, eucalyptus, tea tree, which was known as melaleuca, lemon, ravensara and cardamom. Another reason why it's in my sleep talk is because the thing that disturbs my sleep is my husband snoring. And when we use this on his big toe at bedtime, he doesn't snore. If we don't use it, he snores. Ev guaranteed every time. So um, this, one, this one is definitely up there on my sleep list for another reason. Big toe in reflexology is the head. Um, and it's just, you put it on your big toe and you suddenly feel yourself breathing within a few seconds, breathing a lot clearer. Now, I, I like, so those of you that know me well know, I like to, to boost the effects of the oils by using different acupressure points on the body. So for my sleep application, I'm starting with a point here on the third eye called Ying Tang. And one of the oils I'd recommend to use for this is wild orange. So wild orange is really good at clearing the mind of thoughts. So if you've gone to bed and you struggle to get to sleep because you're overthinking things for the next day or things that have happened, then wild orange on its own can help to shift that. If you use it on ying tang, which is a point that's known for helping you to calm over um, stimulated thoughts, then you've got that double whammy. Now you only have to hold it for about one to three minutes. This isn't a long process. So this whole application could take three minutes if you look at it. And you're just gonna hold it gently. There's no pressure involved in this. And you just hold the oil there and you'll be smelling it at the same time. And because we're just using it on one point, I would break my rule of always having to dilute unless you've got very sensitive skin and then still dilute. So I just put a drop on my finger, pop it on to ying tang and just hold it there for a minute and just start to calm. The next point I would use one of my sleep oils. So copaiba, lavender, adaptive, serenity, any of those or all of those together if you wanted, you could make up a really lovely sleep blend. And I use it on pericardium six which is on the wrist. And um, if you can see in the picture there, she's got three fingers, which then, you can see that that way, three fingers, which then gives you the point here. And it's in between the tendons. So this is pericardium six. So you could put a drop of your oil on your finger, find pericardium six, and then just hold it. And you can also twist it round and find it on the other side. And you just hold that for a couple of minutes just having those thoughts of tonight, I'm going to have a really good night's sleep. So you're almost excited to hit the pillow. And then to end, just taking your hands and popping them onto CV17, Conception Vessel 17 in the heart. This is just such a calming point. And you've still got the lovely smell from your oils coming up and you're holding this point. And then I always bring the hands up to the face, take a few deep breaths, and then you're ready for sleep.
So if you want to take a screenshot of that, please do. And then if you try it, let me know how you get on. So for those of you that are watching this that are thinking, OK, I need some of those oils, I'm just going to quickly take two minutes of your time to tell you how you can do that. With, we, with doTERRA, you can buy them at retail. So you could just say to me, OK, I want to try a couple of those oils and you want to pay the full retail price. But actually, it's so easy for you to have a wholesale account and get the 25 percent discount. So you're getting the oils exactly the same price as me. So let's have a look at that. So you can buy the individual products at the full retail price. In my opinion, that's not the best way, just because you're not getting the best price. Um, and it's so easy to have a wholesale account without any, um, what's the word I'm looking for? There's nothing hidden. There's no hidden catch with a wholesale account. People, some people say, oh, I don't want a wholesale account because uh, one person said to me, I don't want a wholesale account because it's like a gym membership and I never use it. Well, if you never used it again, it wouldn't matter. It just meant you got a 25% discount off your order. So you're paying less. So it costs £24 in, your, in UK to set that up. If you're in America, it costs $35. And then you're buying your oils at a 25% discount. You're also going to get the full support of your oily community, which we've got a lovely VIP group where we're coming in every week, educating people on the oils. Um, so you'd miss out on that buying them at retail. There's no monthly tie-ins having a wholesale account. You could never use it again. Nothing would happen and nobody would contact you, pressurizing you to use your account. It's just there for you to use as and when you want. You could buy the oils as a starter kit because that includes a free wholesale account, which saves you the £24 or $35. Um, also, the oils have been discounted a bit further in most of our kits, which means you get it a bit cheaper too. So you've got your free, if it's part of your £24, you've got your free continued education. You've got a welcome pack with um, roller bottles and things to get you started. You can jump onto our next oil camp, which is a 10 day program online that takes you through using the top 10 oils. We've got the private group, the WhatsApp community, the weekly Zoom classes. You get an hour with me to go through the oils and how you can use them based on yours and your family's needs. So there's lots included with that £24 wholesale account. The most popular kit is the Home Essentials kit. It's got the 10 oils the top 10 oils that you use for about 80% of the things that you'll need them for over the, in, you know, in the course of a month. Um, it's £243.80, comes with a free diffuser, so you've got that for your bedroom ready to go. And this month in Europe, it comes with adaptive and copaiba for free. So that's £75 worth of free oils with that kit. You can see there, if you bought that kit at retail, it cost you £500. So you're getting a £295 saving. There's a small version of our top 10 oil kit. It's £117.80. They come in five mil bottles and you don't get the diffuser with that one. But still a good kit. Optional add-ins. Some of you might have been thinking, I like the sound of those Serenity. If you could buy the Serenity soft gels in, the, in Europe for £20 and the oil for 37 but you can buy them together as a combo pack for 46 so that's a bigger saving now for those of you that haven't got started yet i do offer a 40 hour eight hour in class special the reason i do this is because if you're anything like me you'd leave here thinking actually yeah i'm going to do that i'm going to make a change and then you go back into your life and then you forget all about it and then six months later you're back on a workshop like this and you've had six months where you could have been doing something so to give you a bit of an incentive then I do offer you a free bottle of five mil bottle of wild orange for new customers um, if that's something you want to take up so you do get a work uh, as part of this workshop you do get a complimentary call with me now this could be because you want to ask me some questions and you don't want to do it in a group setting there's my phone number and my email do get in touch and we can get that set up and let's do it within the next 48 hours so that we can um, benefit from the wild orange too okay so i'm going to come back to the room and see if anyone's still with me got a few people there thank you for staying the duration i'm going to stop recording now and then i can take any questions that you might have